Hey guys, uh, today we're going to look at a cool way to do the equivalent of PHP's list in JavaScript. Uh, just to show you what list is, if you don't know, uh, we're just going to open this up. We're going to make a new array equals array. <clears throat> and let's get some syntax highlighting down here. Find PHP. Where are you? Right there. Okay. And we're going to add value 1, value 2, and let's say value 3. Okay. So this is a normal array in PHP. Uh, but if you're in PHP and you want to set each of the values in an array to actual variables, you would have to go var1 equals array 0 and var2 equals and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what you could do separately than that uh, is use the list command. So we would say list and then we would say var1, var2, var3 equals array and that would do that all for you and then you could use var1 var2 okay so we're gonna do this in JavaScript and we're gonna do it using a deconstruction variable deconstructors whatever whatever you wanna call them um, <clears throat> so basically this is the syntax right here and I'm just gonna explain it because uh, it doesn't do too much for me to type it out since it's so short but basically this is the original I have a, I have a variable called to convert um, and I'll probably be going through this script later but this this set right here basically creates an array of arrays and so down here we're sending that array into here well we need each of the values separated out so we can use them and we don't want to use them like this because then you can't read them throughout the rest of the script so we want to set them as variables this creates three separate lines though not very convenient and you have to do this anyway and you hate to have to do this so using this new method and I believe this is available in the newer version of JavaScript so I have no idea if it's going to run in IE but I know it runs in Firefox 3.6, Firefox 4, Chrome, Safari, Opera um, iPhone, iPad, Android, a lot of browsers. And basically you just say var and then you list basically the three. So this is the same as if you had done a list and this is PHP. I'm just typing right here. I know it doesn't make sense but just bear with me just to give you okay. Okay so this is this would be the um, the PHP equivalent right here you know this is PHP. Okay um, so, but in JavaScript, you just do var, and, it, and basically in array format, okay, you say original type des, and these are just the words I'm describing, and that equals 0, 1, 2, right? So 0, 1, 2. And if you wanted to say skip one, you would just do that, and it wouldn't assign it, obviously, variable. You're allowed to do that, okay? But in my case, I want all of them. So this is just a really quick tip here of how to do the list in PHP it lets me get rid of all this code just have this it's still readable format you might even want to throw a comment in here you know store some variables whatever and now you've got all the variables that you wanted out of the array really quick and simple just a quick tip adding on to that last one I realize I don't even need this line um, th this is the only time I'm using that variable so I should be able to do is take this syntax toss it in there and get rid of this completely and that should immediately store it that way right so now I should be able to save that and then well I'm not going to show you my test script right now but it, this does work you actually are allowed to send an array in and immediately split it out into variables this is pretty cool